What's up everybody, I'm Corey Congilio. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm playing the Martin SC-13E. It's not what you'd expect from this iconic guitar maker, but uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about. So the first thing you'll notice about the SC-13E is what they call the asymmetrical triple O body size. Now the triple O body size is synonymous with Martin guitar, but this S body, you know, Imagine there's an S here. That's kind of where they got it from. Uh, it's really something different. It's something that I haven't seen in the acoustic guitar world. I'm pretty sure you haven't either. Uh, it's a really comfortable instrument, and uh, you're going to be able to see that I get around on this thing all over the neck. I'm going to talk about why that's possible. <laughs> So aside from this body shape being a little bit different from what you'd expect from Martin, obviously there's a cutaway that can allow for really high access, which you saw me doing, and not only my rhythm part, but in some of my soloing as well. But aside from the body shape, the ease of play, and the comfortability factor, the neck design on this guitar is really going to revolutionize acoustic guitar building. So Martin has developed the Sure Align Neck System, which is really incredible because you're going to look and you're going to see, wow, there's some holes there. There must be some screws or bolts going on, but it's much, much deeper than that. I keep an eye out to see if Martin puts out a video or two about how this system works and why it's so revolutionary and is not a bolt-on design. Basically, you still have a dovetail neck joint that is metal, and there are sort of these ratchet screws that go in that you would really adjust with an improper impact wrench. The dovetail, as you tighten it, pulls the neck to the body, so you're actually still getting wood on wood contact. Because if you were to take a screw and over time keep putting it in wood or a bolt, you're going to wear that wood out. The bolt goes into the metal here that's a basically a sleeve or a dovetail, and it's obviously rock solid, and the, the proper technician could have this guitar apart in five minutes and probably back again in another five minutes. <laughs> So as I thought about how this neck design could really benefit the player, I said, wow, this is really going to work out for the player that's in a climate where the humidity is varying a lot and they have to take their guitar to get worked on. This thing is going to be able to be serviced in a matter of minutes by the proper technician. There are some really other great features to this neck design that I've never seen before. There's sort of a built-in height adjustment. You probably have another term for that. It's really impressive where you can really angle the neck uh, like what would basically happen if you have to get your old Martin reset. And there is a killer intonation adjustment. That's right, there's an intonation adjustment on an acoustic guitar. There's a screw inside the sound hole by the neck block where you can actually move the neck forward or backward a 32nd of an inch to really intonate your guitar. It's, it's pretty crazy and it really works. <laughs>
Martin started making guitars like the Dreadnought way back in the early 1900s, the body and neck joined at the 12th fret. Some years later, by the request of a banjo player named Perry Bechtel, they moved it to the 14th fret. The SC-13E connects at the 13th fret, which really sort of helps out that neck joint we talked about. And then once we get the cutaway involved, uh, it's, it's a whole new game. And it really is a sleek cutaway, which we'll talk about even more. So Martin calls this neck shape an asymmetrical neck shape. And if you took this guitar when you're able to get your hands on one, and you can kind of run your hands like this, you can feel how it's like thinner here, thicker here, and then it reverses as it goes up. So it's thin, thick from top to bottom. So it's kind of almost like a, uh, they call it helical, actually. That's the term. I can't believe I remembered that term. But it really makes for a very comfortable neck as you play up the guitar. They've changed the bridge design a little bit. It's a little sleeker. It doesn't have the sort of raised feel that older Martins have. You can put your hand there and it's comfortable. Uh, and they put the X bracing on the back so you can see it in the sound hole. Pretty wild, right? Appointment-wise, they went for this celestial blue iris in the sound hole here. The iris is kind of like the old James Bond TV show where they would uh, sort of go in and out of scenes and the iris would close. Imagine that. And this guitar is gonna ship with 11 gauge strings too, which is a really cool idea because it's a long scale guitar. The 11s feel good, but they still generate a lot of great tone. And you can still bend pretty well on them too. There's a factory installed Fishman pickup and preamp system. It's called the MXT. So you're gonna get a volume and tone control as well as a tuner that's really hidden in the sound hole nicely and mutes the output. Okay, so disclaimer time. Since 2014, I've been lucky enough to be a Martin artist clinician. What that means is I go to music stores and I do trainings and shoot videos and really preach the Martin gospel. But you're on my channel here and you're gonna say, wow, well, this guy works for Martin. He's not gonna say anything negative. And you're right, I'm really not going to because it's a really great instrument with uh, so much innovation in it, it's incredible. But I will tell you that it falls in the Road series, a 13 to be exact, SC-13E. So what that means is it's gonna have a solid Sitka spruce top, and it's going to have an African mahogany back and sides that's sandwiched between a fine coa vernier. It looks like this, right? We saw it earlier. So this guitar comes in at about $14.99, and I would have to say, if you're expecting something that is more of a standard series, it's not going to be that, but it is going to have a really, really great tone, and they work on that hard at Martin to have a Martin tone attached to anything that leaves the building. But coming in at the $14.99 price point does not put it in the category of a D18 or D28 or that sort of thing. Now, what do I think? I think they should make one in that category because I think it would just be cool with this neck design and the playability. It's really in its own class. And I think Martin was smart to really uh, sort of dip their toe in the water and sort of flash it a little bit. And then this guitar could go either way. It could go much higher end or it could even go to maybe, uh, I don't know, something that's even more affordable for some folks. <laughs> So who do I think this instrument is for? Well, of course I think anybody could benefit from this guitar. It's really cool, it's fun to play. The high access, you know, if I just put my hand here and I'm sitting here talking to you, look where my hand is. I'm already covering the 17th fret. You won't be able to do that with just your standard cutaway acoustic guitar. I, I've tried plenty of them and they just don't do that. And oftentimes too, because this, this cutaway is so sleek, you know, if you just take a look at it, it's so different that 
your hand isn't really, you know, encumbered by any of part of the body coming down. Lots of times there'll have be a little chunk of body there as you're trying to get up to the higher frets. Now, not everybody really cares about playing up past the 12th fret. This instrument's something totally different. I think a lot of players are going to draw some inspiration from it just because not only does it look cool, sound great acoustically, you can access the entire fretboard pretty effortlessly. What I would love to see in the future is an instrument, not only maybe a version of this that's a higher end one, uh, but also one that has a higher end electronics package in. With this particular electronics package, you're going to need an arsenal of tools, I think, to really make it sound as pleasing as you can. When you plug this guitar in, you're going to want to use some EQ, maybe some compression and some reverb uh, to really alter the sound and have as much flexibility as possible. Now, I'm not just talking about this guitar's pickup and preamp system when it comes to really altering the tone coming out of the cable. I would do that on any acoustic pickup out there, hands down. I'll post a link below of a video I did explaining how I get the best acoustic electric tone I can with outboard gear. I used the LR Bags Align series of products to do that, and it's really, really a, an in-depth video, so make sure you check that one out too. So that's the Martin SC13E. Go check one out at your favorite retailer and really be blown away at this innovative design that Martin has done. It's a really, really fun guitar. Again, I'm Corey Congilio. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you know when I put out new content. And go ahead and leave me a comment about this guitar or anything else you'd like to see on my channel. I'd love to hear from you. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.